Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a Sobi Ma show. My name is Colby. Uh, it's just going to be me today, uh, and we're here to bring you. Well, I'm here to bring you Alien Isolation. Uh, I'm really excited for this game. I have to admit, uh, this is actually the th due to technical difficulties the third time I have had to play through the introduction of this game. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, so I don't mind it one bit, but uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, okay, we're going to start the game. I don't have a PlayStation camera, but those are some really seriously neat features that you can put in head tracking and uh, the noise detection. Uh, for your guys' benefit, we're going to put the sliders up here uh, for the contrast because it's no fun watching a let's play that's too dark to to see and i know i can up the brightness in editing or in post but uh it's whatever so i'm going to try and be as quiet as possible through the cinematic sequences for uh the benefit of you guys um so enjoy Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport facility. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. <clears throat> Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know while you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe <clears throat> there'll be some closure for you.
All right, guys, we're back in. Um, so, this being the third time that I have played the introduction to this game, um, it really gives me an opportunity to, like, address the attention to detail that they've put into this game. Like, I mean, like, the, the cryo sleep, the these this like VHS style uh, text these ancient computer systems it's this is all it's a it's amazing um, you know it's this is supposed to pick up uh, you know right after the first movie uh, the main character Amanda Ripley is is uh, Ripley from the movies, uh, daughter, um, and, uh, like, some, some of the little things in this game are absolutely amazing, and th that's just in the first, like, 20, 30 minutes of the game. Uh, uh, just missed you for laying you on the lookout for a nav navigational officer. I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The Megacorps undercut him, picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay, though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sevastopol Station, what a shithole. Still, I hear Waylon Yutani pay well. Uh, good luck to you. If you can't beat him right, let's catch up when, we, when you get back, Blaine. Like, these old computers. And, you know, the, the thing with science fiction is, like, the technology in the movies in, is indicative of the, the era that the game is made in. Um, or the movie, I'm sorry, is made in. So with the first alien movie being made in the 80s the technology is very or the late 80s early 90s i'm not sure exactly um the technology that is expressed in the movie is indicative of that and uh, regardless of the fact that the movie is set in uh in like 21 22 or something like that um but uh it's okay let's see all right, over here. Um, but this is an absolutely beautiful game. I'm playing this on a PlayStation 4, um, which I just got myself one. I'm really excited. Um, I know I'm kind of behind the curve there, but uh, to be honest, there haven't been a whole lot of titles that have come out for it that have been of terrible interest to me. Oh, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting what the What does that facilities. mean? A well-maintained ship. <clears throat> I realize it's a very similar model to The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern of close inspecting. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor here? Okay? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Whoa. I haven't done this at all. Whoa. What the heck? What? Oh, it's a... Okay, it's a CT scanner. Wow, that was... Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, and I... What I have played of the game, I haven't really, you know anything other than appreciating the scenery I haven't really had an opportunity to do um, but uh, I just got the PlayStation so I'm really excited for some of the stuff that's about Taylor, to come out or that morning. just came out Ripley it's certainly not good I very much doubt it's morning either sorry I feel like death I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly you get <laughs> Look at this little hippo. Ah, <laughs> uh, tons of tapes. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send Lord. What is that? Oh, I get, it's like a game and watch. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. Cookies. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and you. It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Have you seen Samuels? 
He's probably been up for hours. I even in this generation of gaming, oh, I can appreciate a texture, <laughs> like a flat Looks texture. Like <laughs> Oh, let's check this out. Um... Okay, uh, Nostromo incident. Uh, hey Taylor, I got your case request. It may take a while to dig out the files. I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, the Whaling Yutani cargo vessel, the US USCSS Nostromo went missing. Uh, no trace was found of its cargo or crew apart from a new science officer. The rest of the crew had worked together before, seven in all. Yep, there's Ripley. Uh, Whaling Yutani lost a lot of money from it. It's a bit of a black mark in the history. Get the impression they don't like to mention it anyway. I'll try and find the files later. Clarify some of the points. Uh, if you want, I can help you go through them. Maybe some of your luck will rub off on me. I hear upstairs have an eye on you for something big, so. And let's see, the Torrens Manifest. Uh, oh, it looks like it's just a sh shipping record. Okay. Yeah, that kind of uh, recaps, I guess, some of the plot uh, from the movie, from the first movie. I know there are tons of alien movies. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Whoa. Say hello. Channel open, Captain. Holy crap. Look at that. You can watch the approach on the monitors. Incredible. This game is absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. Ah, Samuels! Ah. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Yutani bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. Hello, Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrin. Say again? The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option, and it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you.
So some of the stuff that I was mentioning about as far as attention to detail is concerned, like the fact that during that scene, like the only real like ambient sounds or anything that you could hear were things that Ripley was physically touching, that the vibrations were like physically passing through the suit into her body. Like the fact that, because obviously space is a vacuum, there's no sound in space unless you are touching something that's making sound. So the airlock hiss wouldn't have made any sense. It's just wow. Like little, little things like that. Oh, here we go. That was embarrassing. <laughs> also, these suits look amazing. You can definitely see the like Japanese influence as it, in that like so much of the the ships and everything is is owned, manufactured, and operated in Japan by Japan. It's the attention to detail is outrageous, and I'm so I'm very very grateful like that. It's, it's little things like that. I mean, I've, it's it's kind of hard to to really take notice of some of those things in like a horror game uh, situation, but I'm oh no. oh well, all right. Da, da, da. Uh, oh gosh. Okay. I gotta figure out. Uh, I think this way? Also, there's. <laughs> oh god, shit is right. Uh, not missing anything. Okay. Into this dirt event. Chris was here with me when we last recorded, uh, when we tried to record this game last time, um, and he pointed out that these vents are, like, weirdly illuminated, like, they're very bright for... for frickin' vents. <laughs> Why would you need that many lights? Oh my gosh, okay. Here we go. Uh, I'm just kind of exploring for materials and whatnot. Sevasto link. Folder, folder corrupted. Okay. Uh, decommissioning. So, boys and girls, you've probably heard the whispers about Sevastopol by now, and I can confirm it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. Uh, I'll go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and next placement, but for now, we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help. Doesn't mean over time I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to marshal weights. Chief. And another corrupted folder. Okay. So it looks like this place was about to be retired. And then it gets blowed up. That sucks. That's no way to run a ship, Sevastopol. What the fuck? Ah. And there we go. As far as the intro to the game is concerned, it has kind of it, it has a very like outlasty vibe to it. God damn. What we awful. got? We got the flare, radial inventory, and square. Wee! The red light is really eerie. Okay, um, just me. You always know working Joe. Oh. So we've got graffiti. Um, I don't know what that could mean. Maybe there was a riot. There was a riot. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Okay, so all right, we take these scrappies, this SCJ injector, whatever the hell that is, and I 
think we gotta go over here. Come on, stand up. Stand up. There, what? I don't think there was anything down this way. No, there was definitely not. Uh, oh, here it is. Bonding agent. And we climb up the ladder. Dun, 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 dun. Two rungs at a time. Nothing at the top. Frankly, that surprised me the first time around that there wasn't anything at the top waiting for me. Uh, okay, we can move on now. Hello? Anyone here? Oh dear. Okay. Obviously the game has sort of a dead spacey vibe to it too, but that I think is largely due in part to the fact that it takes place in space. Uh, this life for rent. Tomorrow, no together future. T tomorrow together no future. Oh, equals no. F oh God. Okay, that's one of those uh, don't open dead inside things. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, we got a jacket. Got a jacket. Oh. Ah. Okay, there we go. All right, access terminal. Sebastian Link. Personal. Moved our stash. Langley, if you're looking for a stash, I moved it. Left right on the open where anyone could take it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. Okay, the code is 0340. I'm gonna write that down. We're out of meds and low on water, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe I'll teach you to take care of our stuff in the future. Goodbye from Seekson. Uh, had a long journey together, but sadly it's coming to an end. Seekson Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank all you who have lived this fastball over the years. Hope to see some blah, 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 blah. Our investment and belief in the station is our waiver. Be assured Seekson's Apollo, Central AI, and working Joe androids will be there to serve Sevastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best. Working Joe androids? Okay. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Oh. Make them thorough. And, and we've got to people. Okie dokie. Waits up. Survivors from what we don't know. Gonna get these supplies. These supplies over here. Uh okay. Um probably gonna try to cut out a lot of loading screens and forgotten? Question mark? F you. Fuck you if you were forgotten. Looters keep out. Looters will pay. Alright, so here we go. We're in there. And, uh... Oh, oh alright. So... Let's just duck under this, uh, scary wire. And the whole place is shaking, and we got a blueprint! Med kit. I'll want to build. Okay, we do not have any compound B. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, we need the compound B. Crapperoni. Alright. Oh, what the whoa. Hell happened to you? All right. Looters will pay. Da, da, da. This is so freaking pretty. Oh my god. I cannot get over how good this looks. And this is just on PS4. Like I unfortunately my computer is not very powerful at all. I'm otherwise I'd probably do more PC gaming cuz I know that Gaming on PC generally is is less of a limit on uh, how well the games look and everything, um, and the rendering power of everything. But uh, for now, and personally, I I mean I prefer console gaming. I'll play a PC game, especially if I can play it with people. Oh. The turrets. Oh. oh. That's our ship. Yeah, hello. I'm here. I'm right here. We're lame. 
crash right into this thing and get me out of here. <laughs> Just bust the freaking windows out. Fuck damn this it. place. God damn it. Uh, rack. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa. All right. Uh, that's not okay. What? We need help. Oh, sweet arcade. No supplies there. Oh, we got a jacket again. Got it. Uh, one more. Uh, and, uh. Bah. Okay. Very good. Okay, let me play this game. Run around Rex. I want to play this. What? Who is oh, he's running from zombies! <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, okay, another flare. Okay, we've got another terminal. Sevasta Link. Pulling the plug. Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now. I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sevastopol anymore. It's not just us either. It sounds like the whole station's in the red and they're pulling the plug. Going to sell it off for scrap. Uh, I guess I was speaking to one of the engineers. And he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this so you don't stick around here looking for another job. Sevastopol's finished. Time to move on. Harper. To all space flight terminal employees, in the interest of public safety, the prevention of panic must be made clear all potential passengers. There are currently no scheduled flights leaving Sevastopol. So they just trapped everyone here. Apollo is essential AI, seeks and works at working Joe's, seeks and tomorrow together. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh, I guess you can look around while you're saving. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Today's update. After numerous demands, Marshall Waits finally called a public meeting oh. to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Whoa. Another well-lit vent. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, nothing here to pop out at me either. Thank God. Okay. This whole damn place is falling apart. Yeah, it is. What the hell rocked this place? Alright, and... Uh, oh, some scrap. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Cleared that. Okay, gotta go around here. And Jesus Christ! All the exhaust fans seem to be working well enough. <coughs> Not well enough enough, I guess, if she's coughing. <laughs> it does look like there's a lot of dust in the air. Uh, anything at all over here? Oh, what is that? N absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, whoa! Okay, we've got more people. More survivors. Uh, oh, what is it? Oh, it's a terminal. Uh, and everything's canceled. That's right, they trapped everybody here. Forgot about that. Uh, beeping. Ooh. What was... Oh, nope, just lights. Solomon's Slum. Okay. Oh, my God. And we've got bodies. All right. Um, cute. Reverse, this is Turner. I found the last power coupling. Took me a while, but it's off now. Just been in the last security brace. Come find me when you shut yours down, then we can get the hell out of here. Jesus, man, I'm here. This is everywhere. Every creak and... Just hurry Jesus, up. man. Hearing noises, man. 
Okay. Can't get through the main door. Not gonna tread on these bodies. That is rude. You don't do that. Rude. Okie dokie. Ba ba ba. Alright. We got a jacket again. And. Uh, and. Ah. Uh. Alright. That worked out. So. I don't think there's anything I can get over here just yet. If I remember, gotta go back over to the other side. Up, oh, oh, whoops. <laughs> Rude. Whoa. Oh, hey, it's like the things they had in, uh... In, uh, that Telltale Walking Dead game. When they were moving through that city. Oh, hold to hide. Okay. Fantastic. We got real Outlasty over here. Uh, okay. What the hell is that? Turner, gotta deal with that wasted asshole again. That wasted asshole again. With a maintenance jack. Guess he figures it's safe here. Wants to lock himself in. Screw him. We got too much to worry about without Screw him. Anyway, I threw him in the evidence lock up. Let the son of a bitch sleep it off. Screw him. Uh, oh. <sighs> Wait, hold on. <sighs> I'm gonna look through here first. Ooh, that's a sweet joystick. Alright. Now we gotta go through here. Gotta go up the ladder. I apologize for the lack of, like, interesting commentary here. Like I said, I've done this part. This'll be the third time now. Um, but once we get past this point... Uh, pretty much everything. Oh, Jesus. That's new. Oh. Hello? I want to make a complaint. To the, the highest authority, okay? My name is Zachary Watson. That's Watson. You get that? My complaint is this. Fucking Give me that. This mine. Give it. I think I need this more than you do. Fact. Uh, which one was it? Okay, that one. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and run around and uh, start taking these braces off, any that I find, kind of collecting supplies and everything before I move to the next area. Um, so I think maybe I'll cut it here, because I don't think there's a whole lot of interesting stuff going on. Well, no, I'll... Well, Interview subject. <clears throat> Did I say that right? Hi. Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're gonna be here a hell of a long time. I just wanna know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Whoops. Someone's gonna be Sorry, folks. Excuse me. <laughs> Coming through. I am very surprised at the fact that she can hear these, uh, this tape recorder from so far away. God, this is tedious. Taking off these braces is so freaking tedious. 
don't think there was a whole lot in here either. Oh, no. I am a liar. I'm a fucking liar. <laughs> Scrap. Nudie mags. And I think that's it. All right, guys. Uh, well, thank you for watching. Uh, when we pick up next time, we're going to be opening this main exit. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, share the video. Uh, check out our uh, Instagram, our Twitter, our Facebook page. Links are in the description. Uh, and uh, we will see you guys next time.